In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Microsoft Defender Antivirus. There are four versions available. Uh, that is free. One is a Microsoft uh, Defender Antivirus that comes with uh, every operating system, Windows operating system. Uh, but on top of that, Microsoft has introduced uh, services that is uh, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 1 and the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 2. And then third antivirus that, not a third antivirus, the, another service they have included that is uh, uh, Defender for a Business, which is a part of uh, Microsoft 365 Business Premium License. There is a major difference between these and uh, this is not the same antivirus. Uh, there is a uh, lot of functionalities are uh, differ. Uh, Defender for Endpoint Plan 2, that is a top tier license which comes with the uh, eFi e license and uh, security EMS eFi. E so these, these licenses are the top tier license. Uh, or you get all services basically from that, that is basically uh, threat and vulnerability management, attack surface reduction, next generation protection, endpoint detection and response, and uh, automated investigation. And these, these kind of services you get from these antiviruses. But what is the main difference that is you, or what is the main difference between the Defender for Business and this Plan 2 and Plan 1? So basically there is a, there is a big difference, okay? Uh, you can see on my screen, let me uh, give you a little bit uh, overview uh, from this page. So, so basically Microsoft 365 Business Premium, you can see on the screen. So this Defender for Business, this antivirus includes the next generation protection, cross-platform support, endpoint detection response and threat and vulnerability management. So it's basically it provides what you need uh, for in the, your organization or your primary antivirus, okay, to detect and response and uh, create a, a detection, uh, not, not a created detection rule, is basically the next generation protection, okay. So this minimum protection is always there uh, with the Microsoft Defender, uh, Defender for Business antivirus. Uh, but what you, what you, we are missing here, I will uh, tell you. And the Microsoft Business Premium License that provides this operating system and the Intune license and the uh, mailbox and all, uh, that, that that is already covered. But uh, we are, as a part of this video, we are going to talk about Microsoft Defender for Business. This antivirus, what, what we are getting and what we are missing right now. So let's see, I have here, so it this. This is this article, it shows Defender for Business and Defender for Plan 1 and Plan 2, what we are getting. So now we will just compare this Plan 2 against uh, Defender for Business. So you can see the lot of checks is always there, but uh, what we are missing is threat hunting. Threat hunting is basically uh, we are missing, that is a timeline, timeline feature that uh, you can see what is happening on the machines on the almost, uh, in, almost in a real time. Uh, there is a timeline feature is missing where you can see what applications or what user is performing on his machines uh, within the almost two three minutes you will see that logs and processes and what triggering or not uh, what file is blocked and what file is allowed all these things you can see in the backend portal so that thing is missing then you would not able to do a detection rules uh, if you are using defender for business antivirus then you not able to create a customized detection rule so basically if anything uh, any file is executed uh, you're not going to uh, you will not get any notification but whereas you uh, use a defender for plan 2 you can create a detection rules and uh, you can uh, create a customized notification okay something is happening in the organization please notify you know any process is running any customize or any any particular process you want to monitor if this is uh, connected or this is, is running if this is running then just to notify so this kind of a rules you can create that that is the part is missing and then the third threat expert this this thing is basically missing is where you have something uh, incident happen and you want expert advice then you can create or you can ask microsoft to work on that case and give the insight what is happening and why it is happening you know 
all these experts will there you know to help you that request you cannot create with the microsoft defender uh, defender for business uh, subscription so this is the subscription so there is no uh, another antivirus you need to download and you, you want you want to uninstall the previous one so basically uh, it is a subscription based so whatever the license you have based on that your uh, defender defender antivirus will upgrade and it will introduce all these services next generation protection threat and all these services will be included it will start running on your machine so this is the only thing uh, this is the main like it's not the only thing uh, these are the things you will miss from the defender antivirus uh, sorry uh, defender for business if you have a defender for endpoint plan 2 almost you are getting everything and uh, you are uh, well protected uh, with that and uh, attack surface reduction also is there uh, you can see this attack surface reduction policy is there that uh, that your, your endpoints are protected from the defender for business uh, so yeah it is a next generation antivirus but there are a few things are missing it is not the same antivirus if you are coming from the defender for endpoints and you try to save some money uh, by implementing or implementing or try to use uh, the business premium license antivirus that is comes as a defender for business this also antivirus comes as a standalone you can have a, a standalone antivirus uh, there is no uh, major difference in installation uh, simply you can install this through the intune and there is a one script is also available that you can just run on the, your endpoint and that uh, machine will onboard on Microsoft Defender for endpoint portal. So this is the basic difference and uh, yeah, so this is the what you need to know from this video. If you like or if you have any questions, please uh, do let me know. I will clarify this uh, in a or a better way so that you can understand. Thank you. Bye bye.